I need you to understand that you are under heavy, heavy programming right now. You don't know it, but you are under heavy mind control. The reason you think I'm crazy is because you are under heavy mind control. You have been lulled to sleep. Why am I crazy for telling you that you should be able to survive without the help of the government for six months? That's all I'm telling you to do. You don't have to join my Patreon. You don't have to give me any money. All you need to know is to keep it simple, stupid. Listen, if you're watching this video, you are the resistance. The only thing you need to do is take a couple hundred dollars and get a few basic supplies. The reason you think I'm crazy is because you have been rocked to sleep by outside forces, okay? There is nothing crazy about me saying that you need to be able to take care of yourself and your family for a few months if the need should ever arise. You are under heavy, heavy mind control and that's why you think I'm crazy. I need you to wake up and if you're not gonna wake up, I need you to get a few things to make sure you survive, okay? So even if you think I'm crazy, if you get this list of a few, of a, of a few items under $200, I promise, I promise you will survive. Now, me trying to teach what's about to happen does not work, okay? I'm not a good teacher. I'm not book smart, okay? I'm, I'm passionate, I'm a fighter, I'm not book smart. I'm not able to reach you through teaching because you're so programmed and Americans are so divided that any little word, any little disagreement in, in faith or lifestyle or morals will completely shut off everything I'm saying to you. So I, I have no proof to offer you. I'm just telling you that you are under heavy, heavy mind control. You have been programmed to depend on everything at the last minute from the government, from a paycheck, from the whole world. You have been lulled to sleep to the point that you cannot take care of yourself. All right? So I'm going to give you a simple, simple list, about $200, and, and that's all it's going to take for you to survive what's coming. And what's coming is worse than you can imagine, okay? I have no proofs for you. You have to, you have to walk by faith. You have to... You have to have real, real eyes to see through the lies. You have to have, have a, a, you have to be guided in the spirit from your God. You have to know that what I'm telling you is true. I have no proof for you. All I have to say is you're under heavy, heavy mind control, and that's why I seem crazy. I'm not crazy. There's nothing wrong with you going out and spending $200 to make sure that you depend on no man to take care of you. To make sure that if the power goes off and you can't get food, you can survive and you can fight back. You have been programmed to not be able to take care of yourself. You have been programmed to count on the government and Walmart and, and various government-funded corporations for everything. You have been programmed to get everything at the very last minute. Very few people can survive on their own anymore. That happened for a reason. It happened so that when they flip the switch, you're at their mercy. I want to say that from the information I have received, within a few months' time, I will be walking over dead bodies. It is about to be bad. It's going to be very, very bad, okay? So for one minute, get me being crazy out of your mind and ask yourself, is, is it crazy that I'm telling you to be able to take care of yourself for three months with nothing and no help from Walmart and no help from the government? Is that crazy that you as an American 
should be able to take care of yourself for three to six months with no outside help. That is not crazy. So keep it simple, stupid. I'm going to go over a small, short, little $200 list of things you need to survive, okay? Um, six months worth of food and water. That's number one. Go buy, spend, I don't know, how much is water? $20, four cases of water, four or five cases of water. That should be enough for you to find more. Um, six months of food. Now listen, we can do this really cheap. You can get a bunch of boxes of spaghetti and jars of spaghetti sauce. Right now my local supermarket has them 10 for 10. Uh, they have jars of peanut butter, I think two for four. You can go get some of those. You can get a 50 pound bag of rice and beans. All right. This, this is cheap stuff. You can get enough to live for six months on, on 200 bucks. Go pawn something you don't use anymore. If you don't have the money, go sell some old jewelry. Sell something and make sure you can protect yourself, feed yourself for three to six months, all right? Um, now this bag of items I need to show you. This is what you need and they're all cheap. Um, I was already done prepping and I put all my stuff at my family's bug out location and then realized, what if I can't get there? I need to have some backup stuff. So look, $8. It may not seem like much, but how many candles are in your home right now? How many, how many nights uh, can you keep your house lit? How many nights can you see in the dark if everything shut off right now? Most people only have a couple weeks worth of candles, all right? Look, this is a kerosene lantern. It not only will light your house, it will keep you warm. All right, eight dollars, and the clear kerosene was six or eight dollars also. Okay, I got a few of these, but I think you can make one last. Now listen, here's another cheap, cheap item. Um, I already bought a dual burner um, Coleman, right? But I saw this on the shelf at, at Walmart, and I decided to get it. It's a propane stove. It was fourteen dollars. Okay, fourteen dollars. And look, these are on sale at Walmart, two for four. They're propane tanks. They come pre-filled. Okay, you're gonna need a way to cook. You're gonna need a way to cook spaghetti and rice, and you might not be able to have a fire in your backyard because it's gonna let everybody know where you're at and what you've got. You might have to cook secretly indoors, hidden somewhere. You need these. This is like 20 bucks total right here. I got more, but I'm just showing you one. Look, 20 bucks on uh, Amazon. Long burning candles. They burn longer than regular candles, okay? 20 bucks for a box of them. You're gonna need them. That's all I got in the bag to show you. There's a few other things you need. Pancake batter will be a good one to keep you full. All right, a, a few boxes of pancake batter. Um, a car battery. If you have a generator, that's great. I don't have a generator. So don't feel bad if you don't either. Just go buy a car battery and a car battery charger, okay? And make sure you have at least one charge on it. You don't know what, it, it might come in handy, all right? Um, if you do have a generator, Get an extra car battery so you can charge it whenever you want. You could bring that car battery inside your house and hook up some 12 volt Christmas lights to it and have lights in your home every night, okay? And then during the day, go back and recharge it with your generator. It'll help you save a lot on gas too. Um, walkie talkies. After the fact, you are going to need walkie talkies. Think about it. If someone in your group has to leave your location and go scout or go get something or go find somebody. You're going to want to know what's going on in the area around you. You're going to need walkie talkies, okay? Now what I've done with my walkie talkies is I put them in a box. I wrap the box with aluminum foil. Hopefully that'll discharge static electricity from an EMP or a fake solar flare. 
they're gonna do something big really quick you guys we are out of time I don't have the time to teach anyone I don't have the time to wake anyone up I need you to know that you are under heavy mind control if you are watching this and you think I'm crazy it's because you have been programmed not to be able to take care of yourself I am trying to tell you that you need to be able to take care of you without any help from anyone for three to six months. And I am not crazy for telling you that. Keep it simple, stupid. Go out and buy the things that I'm showing you in this video. And what I'm not showing you is guns and ammo because I'm a felon. I am not allowed to own guns and ammo, so I don't. Uh, thankfully, the people I'm bugging out with, uh, they are legal gun owners and they have stocked up. And in return, since I don't have firearms, I have supplied a ton of food for the bug out location, okay? That's how I'm making up for me not having one. Um, now, some of you guys may know I was looking into uh, crossbows recently. Those are legal for, for me to own. Those might help me get from point A to point B or defend myself until I get something, uh, something I need if laws and everything's out the window, if the country's divided, if we're at war. Listen. We don't know exactly when, and we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But things are about to change drastically in our country. You need to be able to take care of yourself for a few months. You're gonna need a plan for after. Ham radio operators and patriots, you're gonna be the first ones they target, okay? Probably ham radio operators first. Um, they're going to need to either shut you down or get you on board so that information is not leaking out to the resistance. Be on guard. If, if you know anybody who operates a ham radio, from this day forward, you need to start having daily check-ins. And let me tell you something. There are groups of patriots all over the U.S. doing the things I'm saying and a lot more. But they are not YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber. Richie from Boston is a YouTuber. Some doomsday preppers on YouTube are YouTubers. There's very few people in the mainstream talking about this, okay? I'm all you got. If you don't listen to me or somebody like R Richie from Boston, you're going to be doomed. It's going to happen and you're not going to know what to do. And you're going to be doomed. So keep it simple, stupid. Go out and get the few things I'm telling you. I am not crazy. Thanks Thank for all your hard work and great info. Thank you very much for the donation. I am not crazy. You should be able to feed yourself and your family for three to six months, okay? You should not depend on other people for everything. And I know there's a lot of you in my chat right now who are ready. And I commend you for being ready. Now, go get more people ready. Go get more people ready. We are running out of time. Every day we have, listen, the Rothschilds called it 2018, a new world economy, okay? The dollar burning up, the, the Masonic Phoenix rising from the ashes. Either they've been wrong about 30 years of planning or it's about to go happen. It's about to happen. And I think they're waiting for it to get colder. That's all I can think of. Go back and look through history. Wars are brutal in the cold. Somebody told me today the last mini ice age was during the French Revolution. A subscriber told me that and it really got me thinking. With all this talk about solar minimums and NASA predicting a mini ice age, is that what's about to happen? And are they about to crush the world when it does? I don't know. But something is about to happen. Everybody needs to share this video. You need to pass this video on to friends and family. You need to get people this message that they are not crazy for being able to take care of themselves for three to six months without help from the government or anyone else. This is not crazy. You think I'm crazy because you are under heavy, heavy mind control. You have been lulled to sleep. You think it's stupid to be able to 
survive with nothing. You can't imagine it. In your wildest dreams, you can't imagine no internet or no phone or no electricity. It's for a reason. You've been lulled to sleep. You are under heavy, heavy brainwashing right now. Um, next of all, I've got a tent. I threw a tent in there. You, you might definitely need a tent if you got to move. If you got to... Uh, I've got a tent in there. I, I haven't bought one yet, but I think a tent might come in really handy. Um, now, to the next part. We need a plan for after. What good does it do if me and you survive for six months because we've got the food and the equipment we need to live with nothing if we don't have a plan if in if as winter's ending we hear rumors of the UN and foreign armies invading this country what are we going to do with no plan we're going to move on the run bugging out we're going to hunker down in our hiding spot until they come to our door and drag us out. Or maybe they'll do like they did in California and just burn the house down with a laser from a drone made in Israel. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get you to wake up out of that programming, out of that spell you're under. You're under a spell and I need you to wake up. I need you to go get the things on this list. Um, and I need you to have a plan for after. Every state should have a place to meet up. Maybe, maybe everybody you know should meet at a local McDonald's. I don't know. It wouldn't be good to talk about on the air where to meet. But there has to be a plan to gather everyone together after and go repel the foreign enemy. There's no point for us to live through what's coming if we don't have a plan to defend our country. You need to get a plan. Now, it's not a plug. If you want to come over to Patreon, we're working on plans for after. But we don't have one yet. I'm not going to lie to you. We don't have one yet. Um, I think there needs to be a location that after, after SHTF hits the fan or whatever, um, I think there needs to be a universal location for each region. Everybody know, go here, go here, go here. And from there, we'll, we'll plan to push the enemy out. I'm telling you, something major is about to happen. And the reason you think I'm crazy is because you are under heavy mind control. You have been lulled to sleep. They've got you to the point where you think it's silly to be able to light your house and cook your food with no electricity. You think that's silly? You need to get on Google and research how much of the world has no electricity. You need to get on Google and find out how much of the world has nothing. You've been tricked. They have taken everything from you. Everything. They've counterfeited your money. They've taught you to not be able to take care of yourself. Listen, I've been in the military and I've lived in prison. Let me tell you something about prison. They, five Five stories high, the cell block I was on. 500 men. They'd start fires in there 20 feet tall, and I'd have to get wet masks and tie around my face so I could breathe without breathing in all that thick black smoke. Sometimes the heat would go out in the wintertime. I'd have to make little fires in my metal toilet to keep, to keep warm. I'd lay in there so cold, I'd be shaking in pain. And then all my military training. And do you see how hard it was for me to start a fire with only a magnesium stick and, uh, and wooden leaves without cheating, without using paper, without using lint? I'm telling you, you guys aren't ready. You're not ready. I'm not ready. But you know what? I'm going to get the supplies together. I'm going to give myself a fighting chance. And now we're working on a plan for after. For after. I'm sorry I don't have more proofs for you. We're out of time for proof. All I need you to know is that you are under heavy, heavy mind control. And that's why you think I'm crazy. And that's why you think you don't need these things in your home to survive. It's bad, America. It's really, really bad what they've done to us. It's about to get a lot worse. 
Um, for all the Patreons, I am doing a 9 p.m. stream Eastern time in an hour and a half. I need all of you there. Tonight, I need everybody there. Um, there's some information you have to get. And then we have like not much time to come up with a plan for after. Go get your gear. Why are you still in here watching? Go to Walmart, get, get a Coleman burner, get a kerosene lamp, get some kerosene, get some little propane tanks. Not even $50 right there. That's not even 50 bucks. Throw a bag of rice and beans in the cart, maybe some spaghetti, some pasta sauce. I'm telling you, if you watch this video and you don't go buy those things, you don't have to join my Patreon, okay? This is the message. If you want to survive, make it happen. Go get those things. Start communicating with people around you. Find, get on, you, you use Facebook probably still, right? Get on Facebook and join a ham operator group and start talking to these guys. If you don't got $1,000 to go buy a ham radio, get a $29 cheap uh, just a ham radio thing where you can listen to the local channels. Get a little cheap one on Amazon so that when this happens, if there are people broadcasting, you'll be able to listen. You'll be able to know what's going on. I thank you guys. I love you. Uh, please continue to give me your support um, and understand you are under heavy mind control. That's why you think I'm crazy. That's why you think you should not have to survive. I just stopped uh, the, the thing from displaying. Uh, Justin Gre Gary, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, Dave, Dave, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Listen, you guys, keep it simple, stupid. They taught me that in the Army. Right now, you need to remember that. If you're on here commenting, trying to argue with me about something I'm doing or saying, you're wrong. I'm not going to respond to it. You're wrong. You should be able to take care of yourself with no electricity and no help from anyone for six months. If you can't do that, you are not an American. Do you see what I'm saying? Because the sheep Americans, the sheep, you're a sheep if you can't do that. The sheep are the ones that can't take care of themselves without help. If you're an American, you can take care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with you being able to take care of yourself, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I love you all. I'll see you on Patreon in an hour and a half. Thank you guys. Uh, hit that thumbs up for me. Share this video with as many people as possible. This is how you do a good service. Every American should have these basic items I just listed in their home. If you know somebody who doesn't have these items in their home, send them this video. That's the wake up call. Get ready.